Everyone is different. We are different in the way we think, the way we do things, the way we talk, the way we behave, the way we walk, and the way we reason out issues, the way we handle conflict, and all those kind of things. We are different, totally different. Our attitudes are also different, and our opinions about issues are also different. And that is something that, as a man, you need to make peace with, that every woman is different. And they are different in different areas as well. Now, when you are looking out when you're looking out for that ideal woman that you want to marry, when you find one, if there are things you're not comfortable with, do not marry her with the intention of changing her. Because if you're not comfortable about something, most likely that is how she is, and she may not be able to change. So don't just assume, and then later on you say that I will change her when we get married. That is almost impossible. Well, some things are adjustable. There are some things that can be changed, but there are others that it is practically difficult to change. So if there are things that you cannot really make peace with, then you better move on and look for someone who we, you will not really struggle with. But if you really think that you can change a person once you get married, that is wrong. And it is a long ideology, and you might mess up if, if only you can stick to that. Then, as a Christian man, don't think that you can evangelize to a lady who is in marriage and then you, marry, you continue in marriage uh, as believers. Well, there are very few cases of people who have made it that way. Ideally, it's wrong. The Bible says that do not be unequally yoked. Marriage is not an evangelism tool. You will not take a woman in and then say, I will evangelize to her when we are there, and then she will get born again in the course of our relationship in marriage. That is a wrong thing. Most likely, you're the one who will fall, which is so unfortunate, and you don't want to do that. The kingdom of the other hand will change you. So do not marry to evangelize. If she's not born again, then she's not for you. If she's born again, then, well and good, you, serve the, you belong to the same kingdom. Someone asked me a question. Now that the devil is the father of, uh, of the people from the other kingdom, when you marry an unbeliever, will, do you really expect the devil to be your father-in-law? Well, that is a question that is debatable, but it is, it is quite something that can make you think about it. When you go to the other kingdom, the devil becomes your father and you lose your sonship in the kingdom of God. And that is, not our, uh, that is not your wish, I know. So please, just, just get an ideal woman who may, will not be perfect, definitely. She will have flaws, she will have weaknesses. But if you can make, you can live with those, well and good. But if you're intending to change her, that is a dream that is not valid, cannot really work. So get someone who you can uh, cope with and then work with together. You also have flaws, you have also have weaknesses, so she will have to put up with that as well. So it's not really an issue of uh, that I am perfect, you better be perfect as well, not at all. It is, we are coming into this, we complement each other, we work together as a team and make it together because life and marriage is a journey. And you make it together when you work together as a team despite each other's weaknesses and flaws. Thank you for watching. My name is Geoffrey Kim, and this is The Godly Man.